Hey guys, how's it going? I'm here with the Brush Hero, the Ultimate Detail Brush. Um, they were nice enough to send me this to try out because as you know, I ride and the, those spokes are a pain to clean, you know, with your hand trying to get in there. The idea with this is, the water pressure, no batteries needed, that this will, the end will uh, spin and you can, get, you can get up in there and clean around the, the spokes Although get up in there and clean, you know, clean around different parts that you know traditionally is kind of hard, and I think a lot of us motorcyclists and especially uh, dirt bike riders, dual sport riders, and adventure riders, we neglect our rims just because it's a pain to you know go through between each spoke. Where this will spin around with water pressure and clean the bike. So let's see how this works. So guys, what we have here, I opened up the package with the brush hero, is I already took the handle off. This goes on to there, screws off. The brush pulls off just firmly. Just pull it, you know, yank it off. The black one feels like it's a softer bristle. This one's more coarse. And then they also give you some quick disconnects. If you would like to do that, I already have quick disconnects on my hose. So I won't be using those, but you know, this is the part we're really interested in here. How good does it clean? How good does it work? How good is it going to work on my car rims and my uh, motorcycle around the spokes? And then you also get directions and it looks like you can buy an 18 to 36 inch extension piece. And yeah, let's uh, check out and uh, see how this works. Oh, one more thing is it all comes apart. So I guess if you need to clean it or whatever, there's a gasket there. So the cone shape, there's a washer. That's a square end. Put the washer back in. And then this piece, put it back on. And the handle goes on. Yeah, seems like it's on. Cool. On, off. And you pick the brush you want to use. I want to use the coarse. Push it on snugly. And there we go. Let's go check this bad boy out and see how, how well it works. Okay guys, let's see if how this works. Turning it on, first time. Well, it is spinning. And it has force. Yeah, I'm trying to stop it. I can't stop it. So, okay, let's get some soap. Because obviously it's still just a brush. I'll need soap. And uh, let's see how this works. Okay, so I got the brush here. Got some. Soap. And let's give this a whirl. Yeah, it can go down each spoke. That is pretty nice. You know, I can get up in there like that. Up in here. Now this area is that's usually hard to do manually. I think, I think that works pretty good, guys. Um, I'm gonna let my daughter use it. <laughs> Go ahead. Nope, push it again. That. Got 
guys, if you're like me, you typically use this. My daughter loves this brush, but as you know, you're in there trying to work it around. It's a pain in the butt. So far, although limited use, I am liking the uh, Brush Hero. It is the ultimate detailing brush, I think. It works pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with the bike and uh, come back and just see how it's done. I'm gonna be using this. She might kind of help me with this because she wants to help and she's four. So here you go. <laughs> you guys uh, check back and see the final product. Well guys, verdict. I cleaned the whole bike. I would have probably actually done a pre-wash and you know, normal stuff, do a quick brush over normally, but just to see how this works, I dirtied that really well, as you probably can see on camera. Tip is pretty black because it's a two stroke. So there's always grease and oil. Um, I do find that it works really great for the spokes like I thought, you know, that spinning around. And trying to get that to stop, you really have to cram it to stop. It has a lot of torque. It's actually surprising. In fact, it has enough torque that it, the uh, string I had to the exhaust plug so I wouldn't lose it. Uh, it got caught up in here and it, it just broke the string. Surprising. I didn't think that this would be able to have that much power just with water. Um, what else? I, I probably was able to honestly clean in places that I normally wouldn't. Like for example, you know, I can like get way up in there and it's spinning. It's spinning around. Be careful of the wires. But, you know, I can go around hoses, get behind the starter there, get up in here by the carb, go around the carb boot, go in spots I just normally wouldn't bother with because, you know, it's a pain to get in all those nooks and crannies. I'm a rider, so most of you might be able to relate to that. You know, our bikes normally are, are not perfect. This bike has 15,000, 18,000 miles on it at this point. Um, I bought it new. <laughs> so, you know, with that said, I'm not expecting this to look like a new bike, obviously. But, you know, for fun, let's go ahead and check it out on my Jeep Grand Cherokee car rims and see how, how it does. Okay, guys, I'm with my Jeep Grand Cherokee. I have a little soap on the brush. Let's go for it. Well, all right, I can tell that's easier than a rag. Well, I'm not expecting the rims to look new. If I go around there. I mean, it definitely is quicker. I can go like that. And I'm already getting better than what I usually get done. Now this car has 158,000 miles. I'm not expecting the rot, the rim rot to go away. I can get back in there, you know, just like that. I wouldn't be doing that by hand. And and doing that with a normal brush is, is never fun, so it gets neglected. Guys, this brush actually does what it says it will do. It's able to clean in areas I would normally not clean. Um, so you know the bike is not going to be looking like new when you're done. And I know some of the, the comments and stuff had said that, and I wasn't expecting miracles out of the brush, because it's not going to give me a new bike but it did clean the spokes better than I would be able to clean it unless I sat there with a toothbrush, you know? And I, I, I ride too much to do that, to be honest. And I'm able to clean up in the engine area where I normally wouldn't clean. This has a lot of torque. Um, it's, you know, it's surprising how much torque it has. I would say we don't have huge water pressure. Um, be interested to see how this would work up in my friend's house in Denver because they have really strong water pressure. Uh, as you can tell, the end of the brush is uh, greasy because, well, <laughs> I didn't pre-clean the bike because I wanted to give you guys an honest review of it being dirty and most of us would pre-wash a 
bike, a car, whatever, and then we go in there with this and clean the areas we're not able to get to easily with our hand or with a manual brush. You know, uh, as you saw, my daughter likes a, you know, the standard brush for spokes, and it's a pain every time I go to use it. I'm like, I, I do some of them, and I'm just like, ah, forget it. This, as you saw with the Jeep, I'm able to go around those openings really quick. It's not going to make the rim new, the you know, 158,000 miles, guys. It can't work miracles, right? It can only do, you know, it can only clean. So it, it works as a cleaning tool, and it does do that. Um, and I'm just fascinated with it on the on the spokes, really, because that's usually the pain. You know, you can't get up in there, up in the hub area here, and do each spoke. It takes a while. This, I just do, you know, I can go like that. I can get around here, get up in there. That groove, that, now that stuff never gets done unless I take part to bite. And then I kind of clean it a little better. Now I can get behind here easy, up in the wheel, now up in here, under the fender. You know, do there, the engine. Oh. I mean, you guys tell me that doesn't make life easier? I, I can't make this stuff up. I have no soap on it right now either. So it's only going to do so good on grease. But, you know, but, but guys, you know, you, you, go, you go out and get mud on your bike, do, do a rinse, and then use this to get the hard to reach spots. Man, I like it. So, you know, I would say go to the site, check it out, and you know what? Pick it up. I, I, I think you will be very happy with this product. So, hey, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and check out my other videos.